And these people that gathered in the temple and from house to house, I want to just read it to you quickly what what they went through in Acts chapter five, verse thirty nine. But if it is of God, you will not be able to overthrow them. You might even be found opposing God. So they took his advice. The disciples uh, were being persecuted for preaching and these religious people, the Pharisees um, told them to stop preaching and a guy calmed them down and said, hey, don't get in the way. If they're anointed by God, you don't want to be fighting God. You don't want to be opposing God. He said, um, so when they called, they took his advice and when they had called in the apostles, they beat them and charged them not to speak in the name of Jesus. And they let them go. Notice what they did. They beat them. Nobody here is being beaten for your faith. But these guys were beat up, beaten for their faith. And they told them not to speak in the name of Jesus anymore. But the good news is they let them go. And notice that's when it says then they left the presence of that council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for the name of Jesus. And that's why in verse 42, every day in the temple and from house to house, they did not cease teaching and preaching that Jesus is the Christ. We're not facing beatings. We're not facing being thrown in jail. Some are around this world. But even though they were treated that way. They did not stop teaching and preaching that Jesus is the Christ and they did not stop gathering. You know, life's going to persecute us. Life's going to beat you down sometimes. And we can't let those things in life stop us from gathering in the temple and from house to house and from teaching and preaching Jesus Christ. Jesus is the Christ. They were beaten and threatened and put in jail and then let go. But they kept on preaching. We get a little bit of opposition. Somebody doesn't like our Instagram post and we get so upset and worried. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say that anymore. We're too sensitive about what everybody thinks and everybody feels. We face a little bit of opposition and we go home and stop serving God. The devil starts attacking your family and you say, oh, you know what? Ever since I started going to that church, that's when the devil's been attacking me. No, that's just when you exposed the devil. He was always attacking you. Getting to church was the place where the gates of hell cannot prevail against the church. Getting to church is what defeats the devil in this life. No wonder the devil tries to get you to quit going because, oh, I'm suffering. Oh, I went to church. I started tithing and then my money situation fell apart. No, you it hadn't fallen apart. It's fallen in place. When you put God first, it might look bad at the first at the beginning. But if you keep putting God first, 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 something good is going to happen in your life. Woo! I'm not, it's not I'm not even preaching on this today, but I'm preaching now. Realize you're facing resistance because you're moving forward. Visible opposition is the result of invisible progress. Let me say it again for the people in the back, as they say. (laughs) Visible opposition. Is the proof of invisible progress. You're making invisible progress that even you don't see yet. But you get opposition and you're wondering why it's because you're making invisible progress. Keep moving forward. Keep putting God first. 
Hey, thanks for joining me today. I want you to know how grateful I am. And if you want more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that we can stay connected. I also want to invite you to join me live every Sunday right here on the Gregory Dickow YouTube channel for our Sunday morning worship experience featuring music and worship from Life Changers Worship and a powerful word from the Lord Jesus Christ to you. We go live every Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Time. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the notifications bell so you don't miss it. I can't wait to see you next time. God bless.